before I begin this, I want you to understand that sabotage is a key point of mind that is unavoidable and irrefutable. It doesn't matter if I don't know what I'm talking about in terms of economics, which I obviously know enough to know my war on poverty plan is a far better idea than not having a war on poverty plan. It doesn't matter how many times I slip on my words, okay? You people, as people who are not as great as I am, are required by God and moral law. Moral law, not the law of the land when Satan is the god of this world according to their own book, 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, I believe it is, New Living Translation, but moral law, okay? You're supposed to rally and create, uh, you know, with me, create a committee and a council to determine um, what exact plan to recommend? What are what you know? Um, and explain it in terms of layman's terms. Now they're fueling me right now. Okay, if you don't understand this, just kill yourself. Okay, there's there's no time to waste. All right, the successful warrior is the average man with laser sharp focus. Right, with laser focus. Okay, who is that? Bruce Lee. Right, the successful warrior is the average man with laser focus. The successful warrior is the average man with laser focus. Is he right? No, he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Okay, if you're a successful warrior, are you an average man? No, yes, I know better than he does. What the fuck, okay? Over here, a sword fight is like a game of chess. You must think first before you move. See how he's sold out to the geeks? He's like, look, look, man, I'm just the average guy with laser focus. Come on, man, come on, okay? Fucking retarded. Okay, they're communist, socialist, Buddhist, or whatever you get that from, philosophy has failed you. Okay, a sword fight is like a game of chess. You must think first before you move. Some kind of super speed chess. Yes, the, that quote is more right. One thing we do understand from this quote is I agree that focus is important. You see here, look at exactly where my hands are positioned. There are some bootlicking cowards. See, he, he, you know, raise your high guard, raise your heart. You don't need a high guard. You don't need a high guard. It's fucking retarded. Imagine, imagine, uh, uh, Kareem over here, seven foot two, he's 10 inches taller than I am. Imagine if he has a high guard. Fuck, you need a high guard for? You're afraid this guy's gonna jump up, you know, jump on someone's shoulders and punch you in the face? That's fucking retarded. Depending on the situation, it's the guard you need. That's why in the movies, sometimes you see guys with a low guard. And I have all these pictures of this guy getting struck in the stomach. Okay, I'm gonna go through in another video. Um, because he wasn't guarding low effectively enough. So where you put your guard you know, has to do with what you're trying to do, your martial arts style, what have you, anyway. So you see here, this guy's coming in. You can tell he kind of doesn't know what he's doing. You can tell I have a certain balance, and, and I move at world record speed. I move faster than Bruce Lee. Okay, 6'4". Bruce Lee, I remember correctly, he's like, what, 5, I want to say 5'9", five, 5'7". Five, okay, so here's me compared to Bruce Lee. Can you imagine if you're like, I bet money on this guy. You know how fucking retarded you'd have to be? Someone as focused as I am? Okay, before they sabotage me, someone is pissed off. Okay, would you bet on a chihuahua against a leopard? No. Okay, and if you provoke me and you won't provide me with the things that I demand that are the moral and fair things to make, can you then turn around and say, no, don't insult him and act like a bitch? Hey, you have that option, but it's a complete disgrace, and I'm sure if he was here, you'd agree. So here it says right here, if there's pink when it prints, it was not me, and this picture... And, excuse me, and in this picture, it was not there before I printed. So I'm being fumed right now, okay? And they're making it harder to articulate. How many of you think the logical assumption is that when they fume somebody and make it harder for them to articulate during the most important time in history, that you should hate the guts of the governing class? You should hate the guts of anyone insisting that you play stupid and don't obey God through me. This is the most important time. That's why the Bible says put on the armor of God, not put on a thong and pretend you're of God, not click your heels in the church. Not, not sing, do me now, my gay apparel, at the most important time of history. Okay, you people are going out like bitches. And some of you say, it's because he's tall. He's, this guy's 10 inches taller than I am. And he's not the only one. He's only 7'2". Some people are like 7'6". Okay? I'm not the only one in America who's 6'4". But I'm the only one in America who's manning the fuck up. Okay? What the fuck? The only one in America who's insisting on a logical war on poverty plan with a, with, with a logical point to their life. Not just trying to give people food so they can live a sniveling life in this sniveling nation. Okay? Like some kind of sniveling bitch. Come on, guy. Come on. Like this guy or something. <laughs> as long as I live, right? <laughs> what does he know? <laughs> Being a nerd is ideal. <laughs> That's fucking retarded. 
okay? I'm the guy who could easily beat fucking Bruce Lee when everyone's playing stupid that he's the top martial artist ever. Okay, this guy is actually one inch taller than I am. It's because he's tall. It's this guy's actually one inch taller than I am. He looks like he had a chance in hell? No. And, and he lost 10 fucking zero, okay? Any fucking questions? 